Hi, this is Tony. I'm going to show you how to sync your iBank on your iPhone with your iBank on your Mac. Now, Egg has chosen to sell their software not through the Mac store, Mac App Store, and uh, that is cause for a lot of people to complain because there is uh, not, a, as a result, a way to sync through iCloud. And uh, that was something I was looking for, and so Egg is not IgG. Egg is not going to, uh, for the for the foreseeable future, allow iCloud syncing. So, what way is there? Well, you may have heard a way to do it through what's called WebDAV. I found a way on the web on how to set up a WebDAV server. You may have seen that as an option on your phone to sync through. Uh, prior to uh, prior to mobile me going down last year uh, mobile me is now gone and uh, and iCloud is not an option so what do we do well let's set up a web dev server now there's other options that you can look at but I'm going to point you towards one because that's what worked for me um, the other way other ways might be uh, also possible uh, but not good for me first way you might want to look at is what's called drop dab and what that allows you to do is actually use Dropbox to sync your iBank data back and forth from your iPhone to your Mac. Now, Dropbox, uh, or excuse me, the DropDAV is a $5 a month fee. I've been uh, told and loved in my reading that this works great. It's very easy, but um, it's really not good for me. Uh, I'm not going to add another monthly expense just for syncing this, and there must be a better way. But it looks like they support a lot of other applications where you could uh, sync data through. So I'm going to skip DropDAV. I've also been told that Box.net is another good way. But uh, from the reading I've done, the support on this is not real great. And uh, so this might be more of a uh, more experienced uh, computer person, uh, network IT person that probably could figure this out. I'm not that person. Uh, the way I did it, and I did this through a uh, actually an IG forum post that I'll reference later uh, on how to do this. So I thought I would create a video for folks who learn like I do through the video. And we're looking at CloudSafe. Now CloudSafe.com actually. Um, I'm assuming you know how to create an account, so go ahead and do that. Uh, once you get logged in, what you're going to want to do is um, create a personal safe. Now. CloudSafe is free for up to two gigabytes, and I think you can create up to three safes. So the first thing you want to do is actually create a safe. Now, CloudSafe is a free membership. Um, there are premium accounts, but the free membership should do. You get up to two gigabytes of data and up to three safes. Now, if you need more than two gigabytes data for your bank file, you might want to uh, stop shopping. No, just kidding. Uh, two gigabytes should be uh, plenty of data for uh, average Joe Blow, who uh, uh, is not going to have a large sync file. I think these are into the kilobytes, if I remember right, the sync file. So let's create a save. And we'll just give it a name here. I'm just going to call it Test Safe. This is really not important, actually. Um, we just have to fill this out, I'm assuming. And you can put a note in here. I really don't have to. It, it also, this is a place to store files. You could do that. We're not going to upload a file. We're just going to create the safe. Okay. And we're going to skip this. It says, do you want to add an access chain? You can ignore this. This is for folks who want to share files and uh, share files with other, other people um, securely. We're going to say no more access chains. OK, so this is a private safe. No one else, else is going to be able to access this unless you give them collaboration uh, access. Click on safes again here. And now we've got what's called a test safe. So now what we need to do is we need to get uh, access to the safe and find out what is the, uh, if you remember, in iBank on the iPhone, it wants three things. It wants the login, the password, and it wants a URL. 
that's what we need to go and get. So let's go do that. So we're going to click on this little middle button, this little arrow here. It says show save content. So we're going to click on that. And uh, of course, there's no content in here because we just created this. You can see over here where it says web dev disabled. So what we want to do is we want to click web dev right down here. It says web dev is currently disabled. Let's enable it. Okay, so here, uh, this is what we need. Here's the web dev URL, the login name, and a login password. So this is the information we need to enter in to your iPhone that will allow web dev syncing. So there's an option in there that says set up a web dev server. This is the information that you need. We're going to click enable. We actually need this information. So what I can do is I can actually highlight this information out, maybe email it to myself so that I can retrieve it on my phone and then I can copy paste because uh, these are pretty long and it's probably easy to actually mess this up while entering by hand. So send these to yourself on your phone, retrieve it on your phone, or you could uh, text message yourself through iMessage if, if, uh, if you have the means to do that as well. So let's enable. So now this is uh, enabled. Now, on the IGFORM post that I mentioned previously, it does say that someone had actually problems with syncing because they didn't have a directory in here. Now, I, I created a directory in there, but none of the data actually seems to go inside the directory. But I'm going to create a directory. It doesn't hurt anything. I'm going to create it in here. And I never really did the testing to see if it doesn't work, like that other person wasn't able to get it work without a directory in there. So I'm just going to call this sync. Okay. Sync. Okay, now I've got a directory in here, but what I'm finding is uh, the data actually syncs outside the folder. So we'll show you how that works here. All right, so now I'm in the iBank settings. So I'm going to show you that. It's hard to see on the phone, but let's see here. There we go. So you kind of see that. So you go into the iBank settings. You click on default account. Whoa, there we go. Default account. And then you want to click on checking or whatever account you're trying to go. And then you want to go into syncing right down here. I'm backwards. Okay, so you want to go into syncing and then you want to go down here where it says manual sync setup. Then you're going to get three fields that say URL. Again, sorry, it's hard to focus in on this. It's not really wanting to focus real well. But anyway, you see uh, URL. Uh, username and password. Now it's important to know, do not use your same password for CloudSafe as your web dev pa password. If you do, it's not going to work. Totally different. You want to use the password that was given, that CloudSafe gave you for the password for the safe itself. The login will be the same, but the password will be, will be different for each safe. Okay, so and so will the URL for that matter. So let's uh, let's show you how you do that. So again, you want to go right there. We go. Enter those in. So I'm going to pause for a second, and I'm going to enter those in, and then we'll show you how it authenticates. Be right back. Hey, I'm back. So here I've entered in the credentials. So I've got a URL in there, my username, and this really long password that was given before. Okay. So let's click on done, and it should say checking. Web dev access. And let's see if it works. Okay, so now that we've got all the data entered in there for login, user, and password, or URL, user, and password, let's actually try to sync and see if it worked. Uh, the credentials seem to work when it first checked web, the web dev settings. So let's try and actually do an actual sync from the phone. Now I've covered up a couple things here. So uh, balances aren't shown, of course. So here's the sync button, the little, of course, uh, standard circles here. And I click that, and you'll see right in the middle of the screen it says checking for data. And of course, is there, if there's data to actually be received or sent, uh, depending on which is more current, your computer or the iPhone, uh, then data will be will synced. So check it, make sure it works. Should update on both phones, they should be um, active. And of course, if you have internet access, 
You don't have to do it necessarily within the house. Now, I believe for the Wi-Fi settings, if you wanted to sync over Wi-Fi, iBank has to be running, of course, computer on, connected to the network, same Wi-Fi network, uh, phone the same way, and you can only sync with really within your own house. So not really convenient, but the web dev settings will allow you to, to sync just as if you were using iCloud or uh, previously the mobile me syncing. Okay, so now we've synced. Uh, click that uh, refresh or that sync button on our phone, and we want to know if it worked. Well, hopefully that should be obvious because you'll have updated data, the same data on both your phone and your computer. You'll obviously have the same transactions, the same balances, things like that. However, to really be sure, you should be able to see that there is now a file here called spoke.signature, and I think as, as well, other files will show up here uh, as well as this is not my real uh, iBank uh, save here that I've set up, but I've seen some other ones show up here as well. Now, this was the folder that we created because somebody said that they weren't able to sync until they actually created a folder in the directory. I don't know if you actually need it or not, it doesn't hurt that it's there. Leave it, I guess. If you look in here, there's no actually no data actually in the sync folder. So just leave it alone. It should be good. Uh, but looks like all your data actually gets synced outside that folder, but it's still in your safe. So it's completely safe. Well, relatively uh, as uh, anything on the internet is. So I hope the video was very helpful to you. But if you found it a little bit hard to follow along with, then please do check out the link that I'll have in the description. That's going to be a link to a PDF of several screenshots that I took leading you through every click to create a safe and then grab those web dev settings, the URL, the password, and the login, and uh, how to put those actually into your iPhone. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any trouble, I'll do what I can. Um, I was able to actually do it on my first try, so I'm sure you'll be able to do it real quick Thanks. too. To uh, the IG forums and uh, the post that uh, allowed me to create this video. Thanks and take care.